checked our land of gallon, what we would normally do in the classroom is we would fill these up over at the sink. So I'm just going to do it for you. So I like to always prove that this is in fact true. So what I have here is I have a measuring cup for one cup. I'm going to fill this up. And according to our land of gallon, we need two cups to equal a pint. So I have my pint here, so I'm going to fill up two cups and pour it into the pint. And if I turn it around, it shows us half a pint, which would be one cup, and then a full pint right here. So there's one cup, and it might spill a little bit. So that got me to half a pint. We're going to do one more cup. Pour it on in. And that gave me one pint. So there's the line there. I did spill a little bit, so it's a little bit short, so that's okay. And then, according to our land of gallon, how many pints do we need to go into one quart? So I have one quart here, and we have two peas inside of our cube, so we're going to need two pints to fit inside of our quart. So I'm going to need two of these. So here's one. And since I already showed you two cups go in here, I'm just going to fill this up. get us up to that line and it did so you can see that it's at the line and then according to our land of gallon how many quarts are in a gallon we have four cues inside of our G so we're gonna need four quarts so here's one quart and again when I turn this around it shows me where one quart should land and again we already know how much was in here so I'm just gonna fill this one up Three-quart line, and our last one. Right at the four quarts. There we go. So that gives us our entire gallon. So at home, ask your parents if you have any items. So a gallon could be like a gallon of milk, you can find something that is one pint. So if you have one of those like smaller milk bottles and then um, a quart is like one of those larger milk bottles. So you can get like a chocolate milk and then a carton of milk and then you can get a gallon of milk and then you can use whatever you like. I'm sure you've got a one cup measuring cup at home. And we know that God's given us all of this water and he's created that wonderful water cycle to replenish all of our water. So we know I'm not gonna dump this water right down the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring it outside to help water my grass. So if you do this at home as well, make sure to do the same.